Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing well. So, you know, it just occurred to me today that we are well into the new year and we haven't had a catch up. We haven't had that, you know, new year chat, new year, new energy. These are the things I want to do. This is, you know, the goals. You know, we haven't had that kind of chat yet. So I thought today is going to be the perfect opportunity to do it. So, um, all the products I'm going to use, I'm just going to list them below because I just don't really have time to be saying <laughs> this is not, I don't have time for that today. I'm fighting against the clock because it's getting really, really dark. So yeah, anyway, that being said, how are you guys doing? How has, you know, oh, do you know what? Oh my goodness, I haven't put on my primer. <laughs> we're just gonna mix it what was i saying yeah so how have you guys um found the first month of this of this new year i think for me you know it's been really really busy it's been so so busy but in terms of how i've been feeling that i've been feeling optimistic i've been feeling very very hopeful that despite, you know, I'm just gonna do it like this because this is getting a little bit long. That despite us still being in a lockdown situation, not being able to see our friends and stuff, I've just been making the conscious decision that I'm not really gonna allow all the stuff that's happening externally to to you know to affect me the way like the way it did last year you know honest i'm not really interested in that this year so it's been a busy year it's been a busy month um work has been mad mad busy i thought oh you know when i came back in january i was gonna settle in i was gonna warm up nah none of that happened it's really really been full on but i'm just i'm grateful i'm grateful that you know i'm in a job i'm like i'm working it's keeping me busy and, and all of that good stuff but yeah i'm really optimistic about this year i'm so so excited because i just have this overwhelming feeling like my spirit is telling me that a lot of good things are, are going to happen so i'm rolling with it and i'm just yeah i've really noticed oh yeah this is nearly finished i think i think I've really noticed like a change just in my mindset and stuff like that. Like last year, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about last year too much, in all honesty, but it was, it was definitely a hard year for me. I think I've said that a few times in my get ready with me, that it just, yeah, it was very, very hard, but new energy, do you know what I mean? New energy this year, God is going to be at the center of everything I do, like literally everything, I'm not playing really not playing because i can't afford to la allow life to do me do you know what i mean is life gonna do me or am i gonna do life that's the that's the question so i'm very very hopeful very very optimistic i keep on repeating myself but you can, i'm pretty sure you guys you know understand exactly what i'm saying when i say that so that's my january um i know loads of things have happened I'm just focusing on me baby and like all the things that I want to do and I think the goal setting this year has really helped align my focus so I'm not um, distracted on all the things that are happening externally because I think it's so easy to get bogged down with everything that's happened like everything that's happening externally so like I'm really really focused and we'll see where that gets me we will see in the next month if I still have this the same energy I hope I will but you know you never know you, you never really know so yeah that that's me I also wanted to talk to you guys just about the direction of my my channel so I when I first started posting on my YouTube channel I was very much, you know, I came into it thinking I'm just going to do like loads of reviews because that's where my, that's my core, that's what I feel like I'm really good at doing, I'm good at giving feedback on 
the products that I like, the products that I don't like, etc, etc. So that's why I started and then I noticed that I just transitioned into doing, you know, hauls and hauls is one of the most popular um, videos on my channel that like people really do love watching my hauls and that and I think I just got bogged down with that and I was just like, okay cool, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do hauls and you know, I do enjoy doing hauls but I do enjoy doing hauls but my my core like what I really want to do is you know reviewing stuff in particular skincare and beauty stuff like that is what I want to spend my time doing that is what I want to do on my channel so I was really thinking about it and I was like I know that there's some people who would have obviously subscribed to my channel based on the fact that you know they want to see me do reviews but I just think that I'm ready to really focus on the content that you know I want to you know put on my channel and in order for me to do that it just means that I can't really do hauls the way in which I want to where was I I had to get my brush because knowing me I forgot my brush so yeah I think I was just talking about the content in a nutshell I don't want to ramble on too much because I don't want this video to be too long but the direction of my channel is changing. It's going to be very much recommendations, review, skincare focused, beauty focused, with a with a dash of you know maybe lifestyle and vlogs and that. And I'm not saying that I won't go back to doing hauls, but I really want to concentrate and focus on my core and what my niche is going to be. And my passion is skincare. I'm a skincare enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusi. Well, you know what I am, you know what I'm trying to say is skincare is my priority. I really do enjoy trying new and um, skincare products, reviewing new skincare products, and I just think that when I go onto my channel now, I can't really tell what my focus is. And I want people to go onto my channel and really be able to look at my channel and say, okay, cool, she does skincare, like skincare is her thing, skincare is her core. Like I don't want there to be confusion when people come to my channel. So that's what I'm gonna do. I really hope that you guys will follow me, follow me on that journey really. And I think that's one of the things that came when I really, you know, started thinking about what do I want my channel to be like? I want it to be skincare related and beauty. Mainly skincare, but we gotta have a little beauty in there because I do really do enjoy like playing with makeup. So I hope you guys can understand that and you'll be rocking with me um, during that transition so yeah I know that I'm going to have such a hard time at blending out the concealer because you know a lot of people like they're like oh, I let my concealer set I don't like doing that I don't really feel like it's any benefit to me whatsoever to, to do that so I'm just really going to quickly just try and blend this in but yeah I thought it would be really good to tell you that my content will be changing and very focused and I think I'm gonna be try I'm gonna try and be um, a little more active on social media. Social media is just one of those things. I don't know if I'm the only person that feels like that, but I can find it's just to be very, very draining and very overwhelming, especially Instagram. And sometimes I'm just like, oh but I know that in order to grow my channel I really do, you know, need to get an engagement and create a community of people. Who are interested I look like I've got the start who are interested in you know watching my content and that so I'm really really going to to focus on you know on being consistent consistently posting I know it's gonna be so difficult for me but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and also just working on building my my following and engage I don't following is not really the issue I think for me it's like engagement I would rather engagement than following just building that engagement on all of my social media platforms what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fast forward this blending bit because this blending process can take a, a very long time and yeah you guys will just watch and then when we finish we'll get back to the to chatting
you know? Yeah. How you've just been coping with um, having a routine during lockdown so one of the things that I really really struggled with last year was a routine because working from home meant that you know the routine of getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning going to work the routine was just missing and I think that I'm a person who needs routine <laughs> A person that needs routine and I think the lack of routine was just causing very much like it was causing me issues you know I, I just wasn't motivated uh, I, it was just it was just a mess it was a very very big mess so one of the things that I'm definitely working on this year Catherine listen do your makeup as well like you should be able to multitask one of the things that I'm concentrating on this year is, you know, being, having a routine because with a routine comes organization and that disappeared as a result of, you know, the pandemic and constantly working from home. So I say that to say, one of the things I'm going to be doing this year to help me have that routine during this lockdown period especially, is something called Makeup Mondays. Now, it's like my little baby. So what Makeup Mondays is, is it is going to be every Monday, and I've chosen to do Monday, because Monday is the day that I really do struggle with, especially from like a work perspective, you know, it's the first day of the week, it's such a drag, you're a little bit tired, you know? And so Monday is definitely the day for me to really, you know, to really put this to the test. And I think how you start your week is very important. You know, they say how you start is how you mean to go kind of thing. So, you know, having, having Mondays be the day that I do this, just, it just makes sense. That's all I'm going to say. And basically what I'm going to do is every Monday I'm going to beat my face I'm going to get dressed and yeah get ready basically to work from home because up until I decided I was going to do this um that never existed like wearing makeup during the week is not even a thing like that for me and getting ready as in like not wearing anything that's not like sweats, like everyone's been living in sweats and living at home, that's all I've been living in and it just, I think after a while it's, it's just like you see yourself the same, you see you're just wearing like sweats, or just, there's no variety, do you know what I mean? There's just no choice in that so I'm going to make the effort to actually get ready on Mondays, you know, wear makeup and just establish that routine and I think if I'm doing it once a week, you know, wearing makeup, wearing clothes, like proper clothes that are not sweats and getting into that routine kind of thing. I think that will really, really help me just in terms of, you know, how I feel in the beginning of the week. And I think the routine is something that I need to get back. So I'm going to be filming it for a month. That's all I can commit to because I have to go very early in order to do this. So I'm going to be filming it for a month and then trying to give you guys um, different looks. And you know, maybe it will help you guys um, as well. And maybe it's something that you want to do. So get ready to go to work, like get ready to work from home kind of thing. Um, you know, and I think that's all I have to really say to you guys in, in that respect. Actually, no, can we talk about Clubhouse really quickly? <laughs> I'm so, so late to this party of um, 
Clubhouse, but I've, I think it's been a month. It's been just over, yeah, just over a month since I've joined. And I know a lot of people like complain about it, you know, they don't really like it. But me personally, I think the one thing I do like about Clubhouse is that, and on my days, guys, I'm just jumping, sorry. I've learned how to properly, properly line my lips and it's changed my life. Anyway, you're gonna watch me do it. Like, you don't line inside, you line your actual lip line. <laughs> you, don't just, you don't do the inside thing, you line the actual thing, but anyway. So getting back to Clubhouse, I think that a lot of people complain about it, but it's probably one of the only, the only social media, I just need to make sure that this thing's not moving. The only social media where you can actually control like what you consume. And what I mean by that is, if you don't know what Clubhouse is, it's just basically, um, how do I describe it? It's an app that you get invited to and everyone like, and you can create a room and the room will be discussing these smile lines. Do I smile that much to have smile lines? The rooms are basically topics where you can kind of discuss various things, you know, that you're going to discuss. It's one of the only social media problem, um, platforms where, you know, you just don't see what you don't want to see. So you go into a room. I'm not describing this, right? <laughs> so there's various rooms, right? And in those rooms, discussions are happening. You choose whether or not you want to go in a room and you choose when you want to leave a room. It's not by force. And a lot of people are complaining about some of the stuff that goes on on there. And I'm thinking, but you don't actually have to go into the room. You don't even need to have the app. It's, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Unlike Twitter, you can look onto Twitter and see something that really crushes your mood or that is just inappropriate or that you don't want to see. Same with Instagram, but you, with Clubhouse, you decide to go into the room so you can see that content. And as soon as someone says something that you don't like or as soon as the con um, you know, conversation's going left, you just leave. I think it's just really basic logic, but your experience is heavily dependent on what you decide to engage in, and that's very much within the individual's control. So, yeah, I do think that the app has given people who really shouldn't have a platform a platform to be chatting shit, but like I said, it's not something that I engage in, and you can choose to engage in it and choose not to. I understand that people are saying some really, you know, crazy stuff on the app. But I think that when you have things like this, people are always going to use as an opportunity to <laughs> touch shit. I choose not to engage. I absolutely love this chocolatey brown lip gloss from Beauty Bay. I haven't worn it in a while and I'm just looking at myself saying yeah. <laughs> so um, I think we have come to the end. Come on, don't do this to me, don't do this to me on camera um, of this, of this. And I'm just gonna quickly, you know, do my mascara and hopefully not poke my eye out. I hope you've enjoyed my rambles. I think that, you know, that's an appropriate word to use for what this is because it's not organized. And I don't know if you guys would prefer them to be a little bit more organized or just fine with, with how they are. Because these, the, these are one of the things that I still do want to do, even though I'm concentrating my content on on skincare and review and stuff, I also do want to have catch ups like this with you guys. So, let's put on a little bit of setting spray. Ooh. And a little bit of perfume. I'm using this one. This is the only thing I'm going to show you um, Oriental by Zara. Even though you're at home, yeah. I always do this, even though you're at home, I still think you should be able to smell good. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and listening. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next.